Hello, Gemini. Welcome to another love reading. This reading will be all about you and the person that you are thinking about or connecting with or will be connecting with. What are the energies between you and what do you need to know about how you feel about each other? As always, this reading uh, will not resonate with every Gemini watching as it's for the Gemini Collective. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, so let's see, Gemini. What do we need to know regarding love for Gemini spirit? Regarding the person that Gemini is thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do we need to know for Gemini? Let's see what we have we get for you Gemini mutual energies we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups okay so some sort of expression of feelings here with the Knight of Cups this could also be an apology um, I am going to clarify these in a second but Earth energy with the Queen of Pentacles she tends to be like um, the partner that you would want to settle down with they are very um, stable, grounded. Um, they tend to be very good with money, with business. On your side, we have judgment. And the star, Aquarius energy there. And on their side, we have the emperor. Interesting, Aries energy. And the ace of wands. Wow. So whoever this is, they're definitely motivated to make something happen. The Emperor already is like a doer. So when you put him with like the Ace of Wands, which is all about like passionate new beginnings, I mean, it's like they're going to get whatever they want and they're going to get it done in the way that they want to get it done because the Emperor is very particular. Overall energy for this reading, the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Wands. Of course it is. <laughs> Gemini can never have anything easy. It's always like pulling teeth. So the Nine of Wands has been through a lot. I feel like this is, I'm starting to kind of put together something here where this connection with this person, it's it wasn't without difficulty, it seems like. So I don't know if you already have a history with this person or if this is just how you feel about love, like you're just worn out. Um, but the Nine of Wands is like someone that has been through war and they're still wounded still kind of reeling from what has happened to them, but they're not quite willing to give up. They're able to still guard themselves, defend themselves. Sometimes they can be a bit um, too guarded. It's like they have been through so much that it's really hard to kind of earn their trust or, you know, because they've been hurt so many times. So I don't know if this is how you feel, Gemini, towards love. Or if this is just the energy between you and this person, like a lot has happened, we'll see. So I'm going to use my um, Ever After Oracle to get the energy out here between you. Spare, what's the energy between Gemini and this other person? What do we need to know? What do we need to know for Gemini? What's the energy? between Gemini and this other person. Oh my gosh, someday my prince will come. Though he is far away, I'll find my love someday. Having faith, patience, and expectation. Okay, Gemini, so maybe you've been waiting for this particular person or just kind of waiting for love in general. Maybe you've been um, trying to be patient here regarding this connection or just regarding love. All right, what else? What else do we need to know for Gemini? Mermaid, rebirth, transformation, renewal. So there could be some sort of renewal in this connection and you do have the star, some sort of healing as well, or a rebirth of this connection. Because you have the star and the star is all about renewal, healing. But judgment is also about like, resurrection or rebirth you can even look at that card as being that so i feel like there's some sort of change happening here this could be that someone wants to change the way this connection is going or they want to heal this connection or they just want to get your attention in some way 
Bottom of the deck, we have kiss the girl. It don't take a word on a single word. Go on and kiss the girl. First move, courage, and hidden feelings. So someone could definitely have your... Um, it's almost like they might want to be making the first move here. This emperor. And the emperor definitely has courage. So I feel like this is someone that's willing to kind of... Um, take the leap there and be the, the first one to make a move. Okay, so let me get one more. And one more, please. One more energy for Gemini in this connection. Patiently waiting. So another card about waiting. So Gemini, this is something you've been waiting for or someone you've been waiting for. There's an energy here of waiting that has come up twice already. Bottom of the deck, we have closed off, guarded, resistant, defensive. Being closed off may blind you to the truth and block new opportunities. So definitely I feel like whatever this is, there probably hasn't been a lot of action. And that's why you've been, it's like you've been waiting for something to not be closed off anymore. Let me know if that's resonating in the comments. But I'm definitely speaking to a Gemini who's been waiting for something to happen with this individual. So let's get some clarity here. We'll start with this Nine of Wands because that's the overall energy here for this reading. So let's start, okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What is this reading so far? I feel like, okay, so give me one second because I have two cards that fell out. Okay, okay we have the Ace of, ugh, if I could get it. <laughs> we have the Ace of Swords and what's this over here? Wow, the High Priestess. So definitely this is breaking the silence. This is no longer being secretive. This is opening up, opening up the lines of communication reveals and look what's at the bottom of the deck the nine of wands <laughs> spirit is so funny okay so already i could tell that this is all connected um i feel like someone has been hiding you know they've had hidden feelings like we have with the kiss the girl card they've probably been closed off they probably have not spoken to you in some time and the ace of swords is like that first move and Let's not forget that we have the Knight of Cups here. What's this Knight of Cups about? Why is the Knight of Cups here? The Three of Swords. So when I see the Knight of Cups with like a card like a Three of Swords or any other difficult card, I think right away of an apology. You know, apologizing for breaking your heart or hurting you. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Oh, okay. I've got way more than one. Three of Cups. Really hope this wasn't a third party situation. Page of Swords. And then the Knight of Cups again. So we're getting a lot of confirmation in this reading. Repeating cards. That kind of tells me I'm on the right track. <laughs> I definitely feel like there's someone that's going to be speaking to you, Gemini. Communicating with you. Because it's three cards have shown up so far. Ace of Swords, Page of Swords, Knight of Cups. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you've been doing okay, Gemini. Maybe you've been working on yourself, on your stability, on your finances. And I feel like you're still kind of waiting for something else. It's like that's not really enough for you. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Maybe you just look really appealing as well. The lovers. Yeah, Gemini, I feel like this is you. This is you. This is somebody that wants you is what I'm picking up here. It's like they they like what they see. And there's a three of wands. There's something here about waiting. I'm speaking to a Gemini that you have waited for. I feel like some of you have waited for a specific person. It's the only person that you would want to show up. And others of you, and this is a smaller number because I don't feel like it's a huge number of you I feel like you're waiting for a specific type of partner not just anyone will do tell me about the queen of pentacles two of swords 
So I feel someone has been undecided about how to approach you. There's a two of cups. So I feel like someone either notices you or already is aware of you and they want to make a move towards you. They want to communicate. They want to talk to you. Um, maybe they're undecided about exactly how to do that. Yeah, this is about communication. I honestly feel I'm, I'm picturing someone that does not send the text. They type it out, but they don't send it. So that's really interesting. All right, so I'm gonna get cards for both of you here. I have you on the left, Gemini, and your person on the right, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. I'm gonna be using my PS I Love You deck for this. And keep in mind that both of these decks are not available yet, um, but I will announce when they're available here on my channel and on my Instagram. So let's get some energy for Gemini and this other individual. Tell me about Gemini. Tell me about Gemini. Okay, no. If it doesn't feel right, I just don't pull the card. I just, there we go. I know that you are my soulmate. So Gemini, I feel like this is somebody, I, I swear. Let me know if you already have someone in mind in the comments so that I don't feel like I'm going crazy here. But I definitely feel like Gemini, you already have someone in mind. I also feel like you are waiting for a soulmate and that's it. That's all you want right now. Love everlasting at the bottom of the deck. Exactly. It's like you don't just want just any partner. You want it to be the one. Tell me about Gemini's person, this other person that Gemini is, has, or will be connecting with. What do we need to know about them? I can't see myself with anyone else but you. Okay. So I feel like you're both kind of on the same boat here. <laughs> um, I think you both think of the other. Like you already know that you want to be with the other person. I wish I could go back in time. Okay, so we have a little bit of regret here. I'm gonna put that down there because I feel like that's a strong energy. Yeah, and then right behind that, regretting the past. Definitely regrets for, for this individual here. Okay, so then let's clarify both of your energies. I'll start with you, Gemini. You have judgment and the star. Very powerful energies. Um, I find it kind of fascinating that the major arcanas showed up on either of your sides here, but not on the overall energy. Tell me about judgment. Tell me about judgment. Wow, two of cups. <laughs> okay, can I get one more for judgment? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I always just want to get one card and give me more. Three of wands shows up again. And the moon, Pisces energy. So I'm, I'm getting like, where are they? Um... Is this gonna happen? Now with the moon and judgment, I think of something breaking through what's hidden, right? Because the moon is all about what's hidden underneath the surface, what's not said, what's not clear. Um, the moon is about what you can't really see, right? So with judgment, it's almost like there's like, literally like a trumpet that wakes someone up, reveals something. I feel like you're waiting for confirmation about something. You know, Knight of Wands is here, the star. It's like you've been hoping for specific action from someone. Maybe you're hoping for someone to call you, to give you a call, to send this message. It's like deep down, you, you've been waiting for something that you feel has always been yours. It, it's a really strange energy, but it, it's like... I'm speaking to a Gemini. If you're sitting there, you're like, I have no idea what you're talking about, Stella. This is not your reading. <laughs> this is for a Gemini that already has someone in mind or a specific idea of a partner in mind. Like you would want a, your future partner to approach you in a very specific way, to treat you in a very specific way. But I do feel like a lot of you already have someone in mind. Tell me about the star. Tell me about the star. 
There's that Ace of Wands and then the Ten of Wands. Interesting. The Ace of Wands, again, it's like that Knight, Knight of Wands energy. Action, motivation, passion, adventure, something new beginning, something exciting. And then the Ten of Wands, I really feel like this is similar to that Nine of Wands. Like, there's already a history here in a way. Like, if you're, if you're waiting for a specific person to show up, Gemini, it's not someone you just met a couple months ago. This, I feel, is like a long history. Like, you've been waiting for some time. You got two cards about waiting. And then here's the Knight of Swords. So, I feel like... You just want to know. You just want to hear from this other person. But it, it's almost I'm getting this energy of like, you just want to confirm what you already know. And you just want to hear this person say it. What a strange reading. If this is resonating, please <laughs> let me know down in the comments. So let's see what this emperor wants to do or what their energy is here. Tell me about the emperor. Oh my gosh, why can't I just pick one card? The Knight of Swords. Okay. The Nine of Wands. See, we keep getting the same energies like repeating here. The Five of Cups, there's that regret. And the Two of Pentacles, the little back and forth energy we already saw earlier in the reading. Okay, I'm already having like a mess here, of course. And I specifically like brought the tripod back so I could get more room but <laughs> so yes I feel like this is this person they're on this they're in the same they're mirroring you in a way so I see you waiting for them to communicate and then I see them wanting to communicate but they just haven't I feel like they talked themselves out of it with that two of pentacles and it's because of their regret they wish they could go back in time but they can't, <laughs> nobody can. So I feel like that kind of holds them back a little bit, you know, because it's almost like, why, why am I gonna contact Gemini now? They're, I don't see the, I don't see the reason why I, sh I need to do that or why that's a good idea, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like they talk themselves out of it. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. The Hermit, Virgo Energy. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Let me just bring these down here. What's this Ace of Wands about? Eight of Swords. Okay, so the Chariot is at the bottom of the deck. Cancer Energy there. So when I see the Hermit with the Eight of Swords, I think of someone that's internalizing this. Um, I think fear has held this person back with the Eight of Swords. I also feel like they don't really know what to say or how to say something. So they're kind of like overthinking um, because it's clear they want to make a move. The Chariot, the Emperor, the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Swords, all this communication energy here. Like it's clear what they want to do. That's there's no question about it. It's very clear. I don't think that's the problem. I think the problem is the approach, how to do it. Because I feel this person has to apologize to you, Gemini. And I think, you know, if, when you're talking about regrets, it's just not so easy. Like, it's not so simple to just be like, hey, I'm sorry for being such a crap person. <laughs> Try not to curse on my channel, but you know what I mean, right? Like it's someone that's coming to you to admit that they were jerks, they were terrible. I'm really sorry about that. Like that's not a great opener. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So I feel like that's exactly what's happening here. But the thing that kills me, Gemini, is that, and I'm talking to you like I already know you and what's going on here, but I really do feel the energy very strongly. I think what kills me about this whole thing, it's, it's almost like an element of tragedy <laughs> because this person has no clue that you don't care about that. You don't care about the terrible opener that they, you know, are like fearing. <laughs> You're like, I don't care about that. Just, okay, fine. Apologize. That's the right thing to do. I will forgive you because you are my soulmate. Like you are the only one for me. 
there is no one else. So let's just skip all this and get right to what we, what we want to get down to. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. So I'm going to get another ever after for this person. I think it's communication because it's all, like I said, it's all over this reading. I think right now this is like cooking up. Like this is like a storm is brewing in the sense of like this person is getting closer and closer to just pulling the trigger. That's what I feel. And everything you've waited for will come to pass. And you've had this reading for so long, Gemini, that at some point it's like, you know, someone just needs to pull the trigger because they've already thought about it, maybe too much. Tell me more about this person's energy. This person's energy towards Gemini. Something there. There may be something there that wasn't there before. New love, realizations, second chances. I love that. Yeah, I feel like this is your second chance at love. I do see that. And then bottom of the deck is celebration, a new chapter. Are you freaking kidding me? A new chapter in love. Gemini, feel free to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I will see you all in another reading very soon. Take care.